this moment. Welcome to Business Analytics for Manager. This is a course aligned with IBAN and it is specifically for the managers, helping them to take decisions using business analytics techniques. This is not a comprehensive course where we talk about all the techniques available. This is a course which talks about the techniques which we use on a daily basis in making business decisions. So it covers most of the aspects of descriptive analytics, which is looking at the data and taking decisions. And then a certain aspect of predictive analytics, like forecasting. It also has Tableau, which is a visual analytics tool, which is pretty, pretty good tool in terms of finding insights from the data. Don't worry about that. So let's start with evolution. Well, if, if, if you look at, let me just, uh, Is this a full screen? Okay. Can you hide all of these things? Yeah, I can. Okay. Just give me a second because I'm trying to find where is the chat box. So here it is. Okay. Should we take notes? Uh, this video, what you're watching right now, will be shared back to you in an LMS portal. And you have access for, I think, for, for life. Um, at least one year, as I know. And you can extend it as much as you want. And notes is always a good idea. I recommend everyone to take notes. Yes, of course. The, the, the answer to your question is yes, notes is important because this is a high level uh, thing. So a lot of things you might have to dig in for that. I'll start with the uh, quick idea of what is business analytics and, and uh, okay color okay as I said I it's been quite some time for me to take my trainings all right so all set So if you take any uh, any decision, for example, let's say a really small example of the software. Let's say you have a, a simple restaurant, all right? You have been running this restaurant for um, one year. So there is a restaurant which you have been running it for one year. All right, and then you wanted to expand this business, right? Suddenly uh, you, you have money or maybe you want to expand business. You want to open up a few more restaurants. Let's say a second outlet, and the third and the fourth one. All right. This decision is very vital, as you might know. One of the uh, uh, important aspect of any managers is to look at the return on investments of any business they do or any decisions they make. Right. A wrong decision might not only cause a loss; it also can threaten the business survival. At least the situation right now, uh, with all the crisis going on any wrong decision will lead to, a, it become a threat for your survival itself. So this is a significant investment of the money, right? Opening up three more outlets. So what kind of data you would be looking at? What kind of data from this one year experience you will be looking at to make this decision, whether or not, whether or not open more restaurant branches, whether uh, to open new branches. New outlets, I would say. So you can simply type it down. So what are the things? I'm not getting the chat box. Let me just see why I'm not able to get a chat box here. Yeah, you're getting it here, but not coming there. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, no problem. So, um, can you tell me what are the things you, you consider uh, for 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 taking a decision of whether opening a new restaurant or not? Somehow, my chat box is not coming over here. Let me just do this. All right, and then we will see. Yes, now it works. Cool. So, demand and sales, correct? From Karthik, demand and Pricing and margins, customer flow, opportunity, right, historical records, input specific requirements, wonderful. So I'll be taking, yes, correct, profit as well. Srini says payroll, right. So demand is one thing, uh, which is a future thing here, forecasting the demand, right. But uh, a lot of people said, uh, Priya, Mohan, Srini, Sajit, uh, a lot of people said revenue or the sales. Sales is very, very important, right, and also even then the sales your profit is super important because the goal of the business is to make money at the end of the day so profit is very important of course customer reviews or customer feedback also important nowadays people are giving feedbacks on your um, what is that google google maps isn't it even if the restaurant is next you know next door you still look at the google reviews because that is the place where all the other eaters Visitors also putting their reviews and it is genuine mostly because you can see the profiles of the writers as well So you rely on the feedbacks. This is a very good uh, Indication of how good were you doing like if you have a 4.6 uh, Let's say a hundred plus reviews. So it's you're doing pretty good customers like your food. They also like the price Etc. Uh, Etc. Et All the aspects are reflected in your Google reviews If you take this data And you basically get insights from it and this is the data all right well sales how do you get insights you simply sum it you get the total sales profit is nothing but sales minus expenses profit and also you can look at the profit on a monthly basis so i'll give you two trends right let's say you have run for one year then january to december there's a one trend like this is some all right uh, there is another trend like this which is a more healthy this is profit this is a trend and this is b trend which you think is actually a better trend of course b yeah everyone said b correct wonderful right of course you can see that the profit is going it's not just the the, the, the simple number, which is a summation of the profits, but it also the trend on a monthly wise sales and everything matters. Customer feedback, of course, we have to look into feedbacks from very different angles. If you have customer demographics, we can also look at it. There are multiple other things as well. For example, you can think about the, the how, like, you know, basically the turnover time, how, how, um, um, how long a customer takes to come back to the restaurant for eating again. Is it a four days or three days or he never comes back, which is very bad. Even though you have this kind of graph, if a person who have eaten uh, in your restaurant had uh, come to visit your restaurant, you never show up. Do you think it's a healthy trend? No, it's not a healthy trend because it's, it says something about uh, people don't like your food. Uh, they're not coming back. You might have this because it's just one year. So it is not just the profit and the sales and the numbers. We need to dig into the data to understand the actual phenomena happening, whether customers like it, if they like it or they're coming back, etc etc all of this constitutes to insights and these insights actually lead to what we call it as decisions driven by data or i can just uh, write it in a simple manner data driven decisions that's more better word data driven decisions which is essentially make you more successful, which of course will make you your ultimate goal of making money. Now, will I put a INR, okay? <clears throat> so the area which brings decision insights from the data is what we call it as business analytics. This is the part where we call it as business analytics. 
business analytics simply put is insights from the data why are you interested in insights from data because from this you can make a proper data driven decision which is driven by data which means it has more chance of success so it is more successful which will ultimately meet your company's business of being successful profitable expanding or whatever your goal is i have a question okay so that's not a question 